Little Quentin Griffin, 5'7", 190 pounds, very shy guy, and it seems fitting that he's from Humble, Texas. <laughs> it is fitting. Has the same demeanor as a Barry Sanders, very shy and, and unretiring. And there goes Lawrence Flugents. And you see the wrap on his ankle. See his left ankle there? And they're going to go in and check him out. Hopefully they can get him back. The pitch, Griffin, still on his feet. Hard to bring down, keeps the legs moving to the 40. He may be shy off the field, but he's a lion on the field. And we do have a penalty flag down. Came in very late near the end of the play from deep in the secondary. Looked like the back judge threw it. Don't know if he detected something on the tackle. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll soon find out. Well, Quentin Griffin, you can imagine how well he has played the last six games, all against Big 12 opponents, all plus 100 yards. How about 105 against Missouri? And like you said, he's got great balance. He's got low center of gravity. But more importantly, this guy never stops. The legs keep moving all the time. No, and you're looking at 248 against Texas, who was ranked as high as third this year. Iowa State was a top 10 team at one point. Colorado began the season in the top five. Texas A&M was a top 20 team at one point. So he runs well against talented ball clubs. Six consecutive, nine for the season. Dibble throws this quick screen out to the far side to Curtis Fagan, the senior out of Houston, Texas. Big 12 honorable mention a couple of years in a row. Making the stop was number nine. How about the fact that the OU receiving record was set by Eddie Hinton back in 1968, stood up until this year, four Oklahoma Sooners have broken that record for receptions in a career. It's a new style of football at Oklahoma. You know, going into tonight's game, look at these guys. All of them here, Eddie Hinton was the record holder at 114. Now there are four guys playing tonight who have broken his record. Remember, all those wishbone years That's right. cut down on the number of opportunities for receivers at Oklahoma. I don't think Barry threw 114 times a season. <laughs> we have talked about him throwing 114 times in practice. <laughs> That's right. Hibble looking over the middle, wide open the big tight end, Trent Smith, another Oklahoma first down. Second reception for Smith, and this is where Texas Tech had some problems early in the season. Passes over the middle. That's why they tried to put Meeks in there. Vincent Meeks, the free safety. Greg McMacken said, we were weak over the middle. Yeah, you see Greg McMacken signaling, talking to his coaches in the press box. Vincent Meeks began the season as a running back. Now as a true freshman, he's holding down the free safety spot because they think with his athletic ability, he can make more plays over the middle. But remember, he's just a true freshman, only his fourth game as a safety. After the pickup of 14, Oklahoma on the ground, nothing doing this time. Grit, Quentin Griffin is spun around by Jason Wesley. What a nice play. That's exactly what Texas Tech needs. Big plays from guys who can make tackles on the spot. The option, and Jason Wesley, not they were not able to block him. You saw Trent Smith, number 88, try to block him from outside in. He defeated him by getting up inside the up, up inside of Trent Smith before he could bring the block. Then he makes a tackle on the spot. Those are the type of plays the Tech needs. Loss of five on the play. Sooners facing second and 15. Tech brings five. Oklahoma picks it up. Pass incomplete. Boy, there were an awful lot of white jerseys around Quentin Griffin when he bobbled that. I think that. If you're going to critique Nate Hibble on that play, here's mine. Throw the ball on the ground at his feet at that point. The timing of the play was disrupted. He tried to make a forced throw inside to him after the screen really wasn't there, and you saw what happened. Hands got on the ball. That could have been disastrous for Oklahoma. Tipped up, Texas Tech brings it the other way. At that time, when the play's blown, throw it at his feet, right. take it incomplete, come back and do it again. It is fortunate then. Oklahoma 75% on third down, final nine seconds of the quarter. Three wides to the left. Tech brings six. Hibble dumps it off to Smith. Dropped it. Rather saying it was a catch and a fumble. You don't see that very often from Trent Smith, the 6'5 senior out of Clinton, Oklahoma. Usually when you're from You've got Clinton in your name. Going left is successful. <laughs> Not tonight. We come 
drive to the end of quarter number one. It was a good one for the Sooner offense and the Sooner defense. Oklahoma leads 16-0. Get ready for 24 hours of the baddest, nastiest hombre around. Go ahead, make my day. A man-sized portion of you-know-who. 24 hours of Eastwood, all day Friday, only on TBS Superstation. Of course, Clint kicked off our coverage tonight. Jeremy Levin putting that together. Jeremy, excellent job, my friend. If you can get Clint Eastwood in a tease of a football game, you're all right. Yes, you are. Without him coming to beat you up. <laughs> That's right. Ferguson kicking with the win, and he booms this one into the end zone. Dog goes out. See where they mark it. Boy, they're running up. Well, they'll be inside the 20, but they're still walking. Didn't quite catch the corner. <laughs> no. 18 yards short after the 21-yard kick. Here's how it all started in the first quarter. Kiwan Jones goes in from the 10. His 12th TD of the year. And then how about Quentin Griffin? 62 yards. That was impressive, Charles. Yes, it was because of the balance that he displayed. Sure, he got some blocks, but he's a very intelligent runner. And then a great play by Oklahoma's defense. Nowhere to go with the ball. And Jimmy Wilkerson with the safety. Oklahoma up 16 to nothing in the second quarter. So far, this Texas Tech offense has not been able to get in any type of rhythm. Let's see if Kingsbury goes with shorter passes. Well, he starts out that way. Pass is complete to Wes Welker. Eric Bassey coming up from that strong safety spot to make the stop. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. 15 minutes already in the books. How about 174 yards for Oklahoma? Well, you expect that Texas Tech won't run the ball much, but minus one is not going to get it done. they got to run enough to take some of the pressure off of the passing plays. First time they gained yardage on first down for Texas Tech. They picked up six. Have not gotten a first down yet in the game. Roll it out on the flat. Carlos Francis scampers away close to the first, first down of the night for the Red Raiders. Carlos Francis, the junior out of Fort Worth, Texas, leading receiver on this team last year, had a great catch last week against Texas. What you like most about the last two plays for Texas Tech? Two positive plays in a row. You know, not a good play, and then, and then something goes wrong. Now they need one more to get a first down and allow themselves to get their feet back under them a little bit. Numbers for Cliff Kingsbury, 22 yards on four completions, third down and one. They keep it on the ground. They get the first down. Wes Welker, his second carry of the night. Welker, as we talked about, does it all. He's not afraid to run. He's not afraid to catch. He's not afraid to return kicks. And he doesn't mind kicking field goals or extra points if they ask him. If they ask him, he actually warms up as a kicker. And they say he has range about 55 yards. He's attempted one and attempted a field goal earlier this year. He may be one of their kickers next season. Also operates as the gunner on punt coverage. Only the third time in the last 26 years, Texas Tech has reached eight wins. They're looking for number nine, but they're in a 16-point hole tonight. Oklahoma blitzing. Kingsbury deep into the flat, incomplete. Nehemiah Glover, the intended receiver. And what Oklahoma liked about that play is that where Cliff Kingsbury threw the ball, was to the receiver farthest away oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. in the defense. It's very similar to basketball. And partner, I know you covered a bunch of basketball. When you when you trap a, a, on defense, your rotation is there's always someone open. But right. you want that person to be the person farthest away, toughest to make the throw. That's a long throw for Cliff Kingsbury. Worked out perfectly for Oklahoma's defense. Of course, Mike Leach designed the defense here at Oklahoma a few years ago when Josh Heupel was the quarterback. He knows what this crowd can do, and they get into a game. Second and ten, with his shovel pass. Henderson breaks a couple of tackles, and he is finally brought down at the 40-yard line. Jonathan Jackson, the fastest defensive lineman, sophomore out of Houston, coming up to make the stop. But that's how Texas Tech defeated the a and the Texases. That's the plays that they're successful in doing. And that's why when you talk with a Mike Stoops or a Brent Venables, the defensive coordinators for Oklahoma, that they say you have to be judicious in how often you go after him because Texas Tech has plenty of what they call blitz control plays. Mm -hmm. Shovel passes, screens. Those types of plays that take you out of your rhythm and defeat the blitz. That one did. First and ten. Oh, you blitzing from the edge, and Kingsbury's going to be brought down from behind. Dusty DeVorchek out of somewhere out of Lake Dallas, Texas.